OK, welcome. So I have 1 divided by sine of x minus 1 divided by cosecant of x equals cosecant of x minus sine of x. And what we want to do is we want to verify that these two sides are exactly the same. So you know, what we want to do is pick one side, pick the most complicated side, da 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 da. Um, but the main important thing when I'm looking at this is it says, you know, use trig identities and look ahead, right? So let's even just kind of see what identities do we currently have. Well, this problem could be actually very, very simple um, by looking at this and just saying, all right, well, I have 1 over sine of x. You know, besides even looking at what sign you want to get, I have 1 over sine of x. I need that to look like cosecant of x. And I have 1 over cosecant of x equal to sine of x. So you can kind of say, all right, well, let's think of our trigonometric identities. And the main important thing to understand is, you know, um, sine of x is equal to 1 over cosecant of x. And cosecant of x is equal to 1 over sine of x. These are what we call our, trigon our uh, reciprocal identities. So therefore, I can rewrite 1 over sine of x as cosecant of x. And I can rewrite 1 over cosecant of x as sine of x. And without really having to do too much work, rather than just thinking ahead and knowing my trigonometric identities, I can see that these are very easily verified to one another. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you verify your two trigonometric identity, or <laughs> verify a trigonometric equation. Thanks.